Are you looking for the best 4x6 photo printers? In this video we will look at some of the best 4x6 photo printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Kodak Doc Plus 4x6 We start with the Kodak Doc Plus Portable Instant Photo Printer. To many of us, Kodak is ingrained in our minds as one of the icons of photography. But do their photo printers live up to that reputation? First, let's talk about connectivity. The Kodak Doc Plus has all the connectivity options you'd expect from a photo printer except for Wi-Fi connectivity, which is a bit disappointing, to be honest. Otherwise, it has Bluetooth, USB-C for Android devices, and Lightning for iOS devices. Furthermore, Kodak has an app for the printer which they force you to use to send images to the printer, effectively restricting connection to mobile phones only. But apart from connection, the print design itself is very good. The printers use dye sublimation techniques and a laminating process to provide high quality material photos that can last 100 years. Also, the photo quality itself is good, but not the best, considering we're talking about Kodak here. Number 2. Canon Selfie CP1300 Our second pick is the Canon Selfie CP1300. The CP1200's successor. Again, Canon is another icon of photography, perhaps more so than Kodak in modern times, but does their Selfie CP1300 perform to Canon's standards? Perhaps the most noticeable detail in the CP1300 is the handy 3.2 LCD screen that lets you preview and edit your photos before you print them. Kudos to Canon for that one. On getting photos on your CP1300, you can connect via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or USB. And good news to you, computer users, the mobile app is optional, so you can hook your PC to the printer through any of the methods above and print your photos right away. And for you, iPhone users, while there's no lightning connection in the CP1300, you can use Apple Air Print instead. Number 3. HP Sprocket Studio 4x6 Next up is the HP Sprocket Studio at number 3. You see, while HP isn't exactly known for its photography equipment, they're world-renowned for its printers. But what about their Sprocket Studio 4x6 photo printer? Despite being the cheapest printer on our list, the Sprocket isn't an inferior one. On the contrary, it's easy to set up and it prints photos in very good quality, comparable to that of the Kodak Doc Plus. It also uses dye sublimation like most of the other more expensive printers on this list, so your photos should theoretically last about 100 years in an album as well. But of course, some limitations come with a cheaper price tag. The most disappointing of which is the minimal connectivity of the Sprocket Studio. For reference, you can only connect via Bluetooth and through the app they force you to use. Another quirky, annoying design flaw is that when a photo is printed, you have to snap it off, which sometimes leaves a rough mark on the edge. The mark isn't excessive, but it takes from the perfectness of a printed photo. Number 4. Epson Picture Mate PM400 And at number 4 we have a less popular brand than the three above. It's the Epson Picture Mate PM400, straight out of the Philippines. In our list, the PM400 stands out as the only one that doesn't use dye sublimation and instead sports drop-on-demand technology that uses four colors including cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. In addition, each color has 180 nozzles, for a total of more than 1 billion colors, as opposed to the standard 16.7 million. With specs like these, it's no surprise that the PM400 provides excellent photo quality. But did you know the photos are reliable too? In fact, Epson boasts that their photos can last 200 years in an album. Obviously, we can't test this statement for certain yet, but be sure to check out our 2221 update number 5 iHome Photo Printer Dock. Last but not least, we have another less famous brand, the iHome Photo Printer Dock. You'll notice that this is a smaller device than the rest on this list right off the bat. It's true, 
This printer is only about one and a half mobile phones in length and weighs only 3 pounds. 1.3 kilograms. Fortunately, this compactness doesn't come at the cost of performance. The printed photos are of good enough quality. They're not the best, but they're good. And the printer uses dye sublimation as well to give you a beautiful, long-lasting photo. So performance isn't where the iHome dock lags, in our opinion. Instead, it's the connectivity and the shortage of parts. Again, the iHome dock only has wireless connectivity through Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi and no cables. You also have to use their app, so bear that in mind.